Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bill. I'm that expat prepper living in the Philippines. Today is another freeze dry video, and it's a first for me. Other than the champarado, this is a, a Filipino dish. It's called menudo, and it's different than the menudo you guys may be familiar with from Central and South America. It's, it's a Philippine dish. Now, my wife and her sister gracefully made me a huge pot of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dish it out on the five trays, and then uh, I'll be back in two seconds. So you see what it looks like. Stand by. Boy, in those two seconds, standing over all this hot food, most definitely uh, got me sweating. All right, so let me tell you about menudo real quick. Now, typically, the menudo has bigger chunks of pork that still have the fat on them. And we saved all the fat, we trimmed it off, and we saved it all. And it's gonna go back into the pot with the rest of the menudo that we're putting in the freezer and you're gonna be eating. So we didn't wanna lose all that good flavor, but I didn't wanna freeze right. Just the, the, you know, the really thick, uh, fatty part of the pig. And I also made sure that the potatoes and carrots were diced smaller than typically. Typically, there'll be you know a good good chunk of potato and carrot. All right, so that's it for this portion. I'm going to get the lids on, get them in my deep freezer. You'll see me when I'm pulling them out and getting ready to put it in the freeze dryer. Stand by for two seconds for that. All right, guys, welcome back. It is now time to put the the noodle into the freeze dryer. I had pre-frozen it. It is at 36, and I had also closed the drain valve already. So, as you can see, these are very full trays. I expect this to take a couple days to freeze dry, actually. Now, the reason I didn't make these into divided portions and the reasons I'm keeping it as one big tray is this is really for, you know, long-term storage and emergency situations. And if either of those crises or something happens, I'm not cooking a single portion size of this. I'm going to be cooking to feed five to 15 people at a shot. So the plan is not to resell this as individual meals per se. So that's why if you're curious why I didn't divide it up into single portion size. Now I do often create single portion size items. But anyways, we're off to the races here. I expect these to take a couple days. You'll see me again in two seconds. Uh, as I pull this stuff out, so just stand by. All right, guys, I'm back. It has been an extremely long freeze dry process. It's been 55 hours. Now, keep in mind that's due to the fact that it's hot up here and humid. So, before I pull it out, what I want to do is I want to well, first cancel this. We don't have to hear the noise here. Uh, I don't need a defrost. Defrost. All right, so get that noise out of here. Let me go ahead and release the pressure out of there. Now, you can see how far away it's pulled off the sides of these pans. That's an indicator that there was a lot of moisture um, in there. Now, I'm gonna pull these out and check them. I'm pretty confident they're done, but I always wanna double check. So let me just set this down for a second. And I always wanna double check the bottom one. because the bottom one is the one that always seems to give me a hassle. Oh, it still smells good. All right, so it is flaky dry. I don't feel any, any wet spots. It's actually warm on the bottom. And if this pan is done, that typically means they are all done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all of this stuff out of here. I'm gonna get it into large bags but stick around because I'm gonna take some downstairs and I'm gonna rehydrate it and we're gonna see how that works, right? So stand by for two seconds. All right. I'm extremely drenched in sweat as it is super hot up here. 
I got six large bags and I had just a little bit over, I made a, a quart size bag. <clears throat> and I got a quart size bag equivalent. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs right now, change my shirt, cool off a minute, and then I'm gonna reconstitute this. So let's see how it tastes, stand by. All right, I'm back. Change my shirt, wipe my face down. All right, so what I have is, trust me, that was boiling, it's not at the moment. I got some rice, I got that approximate quart size pack. You can see the carrots, potatoes, and pork in there pretty good. I'm going to add water. I'm gonna use these little protective bits here. Um, by touch, right? I'm just gonna go off of my gut feeling here. Now I understand that the potatoes, carrots, and pork will all continue to absorb water, but I don't want it soupy but I want to make sure I get enough in there. Now I know, I know, if I had just measured it when, uh, when I was doing it, I could do all the math and know exactly how much water I need to put back in there. Sorry about that noise there. Someone's calling the water shop and we're closed today. All right, so this looks like it absorbed a lot of that water already. However, I know the potatoes and carrots have not. So I'm just gonna add just a, if I don't burn myself here, a little more water to this mix. I want it to be just a, a little wet before I let it sit. All right, so I'm gonna kind of tamp everything down, make sure it's all in the water. All right, I'm going to cover this simply as this. I'm gonna set my timer. I'm gonna do the same I would do for any freeze-dried food. I'm gonna let it go for um, eight minutes and then I'll check on it, stir it, and if I need to, I'll add more water. Stand by for two seconds. Hey guys, this is Bill, I'm back. You know, my DJI mic set has been giving me issues. Uh, one of them won't even charge anymore. And if you heard this other video, it kind of goes up and down all over the place. So it didn't record the audio. Um, but here's me after the first eight minutes only. I did a stir. And you know, everything in this bite had reconstituted um, fine. And the potatoes, carrots, and uh, the small bit of pork I had on that one. And I was surprised because it was only eight minutes in the, the hot water. So I took a, a search around and found some really big pieces of the pork. I wanted to really see if eight minutes, you know, was a magic number here. And uh, no, it, there were still some crunchy, chewy bits in the middle of the large portions. And that's just, I need to give it more time, right? So if you see here, I was like, oh yeah, it's still a little little crunchy, chewy in the center. But that's fine. You know, I was really happy with the taste. It tasted spot on. I was just amazed by how good, I mean, the, the cube pork came back. It was almost like a shredded pork. It was just really delicious. So what I went ahead and did was I went and put the uh, lid back on and set it aside for, I don't know, I think 10 minutes before I came back to check on it. But if you like these kind of videos or if you have any comments about this particular Filipino menudo, just drop those down below for me. And if you're thinking I should try a different Filipino dish of some kind, drop that down below with the recipe and I'll see if it's something I can do. I do enjoy making freeze-dried food, even though I have a ton of it. And I am going to try to continue making unique and different types of things, um, especially stuff that we fresh cook ourselves. It's so much healthier than uh, some of the branded stuff. All right, guys. Once again, thanks for watching to the end. Hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, check out some of my other videos. I'm not just a freeze-dry guy. I'm a prepper all the way around. And as always, everyone, please, until next time, be safe.